Hi and welcome back to my channel. I'm Sanjana and I make videos on art and craft, DIYs and decor and travel. If you enjoy my videos, give me a thumbs up, leave a comment and please subscribe to my channel. It's the best way to support my work and show your appreciation. Today's video is again about dot painting. This is for all those of you who want to try dot painting but don't find the time. I said in my previous video that dot painting is both painstaking and time taking. But not always. I started this mandala yesterday around 10 pm at night and within half an hour I was done. So can you spare half an hour? If you can, this video is for you. Here's what we'll need for today's project. It's the usual set of things needed for dot painting. A canvas, acrylic paints, a geometry box for the ruler, the compass and the protractor, a palette for mixing paints, the dotting tools, if you don't have these, you can use a earbud and a pencil. And lastly, a wiping cloth. Are you ready? Let's start. So I've picked the smallest canvas I had, 3 by 4 inches, because it's already quite late and I don't have time today for a really detailed design. As always, I'm starting by finding the center of my canvas so I can draw the guidelines around that. It's not necessary to first draw the circles and then the lines. It can be done in any order. I'm drawing the lines with a gap of 10 degrees which I've marked using my protractor. And the concentric circles I'm keeping equally spaced with a 1 cm gap between each circle. I'm starting with the innermost circle by placing one dot on every alternate line that I've drawn. Because the lines are so close to each other near the center, placing a dot on every line will make the design look cluttered. On the second circle, however, there is enough space to place a dot on each line, so that's what I'm doing there. Today's mandala is going to be a simple one. So I am using only two of my 12 dotting tools. Like I said in my previous video, the dotting tools are of two kinds. One with round pointed tips and the other with flat circular bases. I have picked a mid-sized one from the first kind and the smallest one from the second. The only exception being this large dotting tool which I am using to make the center of my design. When making designs on black, white is the color which gives the most contrast and if used well can really brighten the design. I have intentionally not speeded up this part of the video so that the process of walking the dots can be seen clearly. Walk in the dots is a dotting technique where the dotting tool is dipped only once in the paint and used to make a whole line of dots. That way each subsequent dot is smaller than the previous one because there is less paint at the tip of our tool with each dot we make. Here we are starting at the center and walking the dots down one side and then the other. No dot is being redone or dotted twice because that will affect its size and impact our design. The only thing we need to make sure of is that we have sufficient paint on our tool so that we don't run out of paint midway. Another thing to remember is that while dotting on a black surface, all colors must be mixed with white before using them, else they will not show. Black absorbs everything. So before starting, 
I've used my palette to mix each color I'm using with white. The colors I've used are orange, vermilion, brilliant red, aqua green and white. It's an unusual combination, I know, but I saw it on the net and I couldn't wait to try it out. And the contrast has really worked well in this case, don't you think? Look how amazing the mandala is looking. It's so tiny yet so beautiful, isn't it? I really do hope you'll be trying this out. It's one of the simplest and quickest dot mandalas I have ever painted. Let me know in the comments section if you did. And if you liked this, there's lots more coming your way. Stay tuned. I'll see you in the next video. Lots of love.